In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create an uneven terrain like this. Or how to create a hilly landscape in Blender. You can probably guess that we have used a texture for this. But this is not a plain surface as you can see, we have ups and downs across the surface, we have rocks, and we didn't edit the surface to create these irregular bumps. This is done procedurally, so that if you need you can customize it later. Such large-scale landscape is often required in a game design. And the setup is actually very easy. We need two things to do this. This colorful one is called the texture, and we need one displacement map, or height map. We'll talk about this displacement map later, let us first start with a suitable texture for our landscape, which is nothing but a simple image file that we have downloaded from the internet. In this default scene, we'll delete this cube. And instead, we'll add a simple plane. Let us enlarge it by a factor of 5. We have one important step before we apply the texture. We have to ensure that we have enough number of subdivisions for our target object, so go to the edit mode. We need to pick up this loop cut tool. Now click once, near any one of the edges. Then open this operator box. We can define the number of cuts or the number of subdivisions here, the more the better. Let us go with a value like 64. And we have to do the same thing, on this side as well. You can also use a subdivision surface modifier for this same result, but this process gives us a far better control over the cuts. So create a good number of subdivisions, and then go back to the object mode. Before we work with the texture, let us turn on the rendered view mode. Now go to the materials tab, and create a new material. Here, click on this yellow icon beside the base color, and select, image texture. Now click on open, and select the texture file, that you have downloaded. So the texture image will be applied on the plane, but there is too much light getting reflected from this plane, which is called specular reflection. We have to rectify it, so change this specular value to zero. And you'll get a better result, with a vivid output. Here, we are using HDRI lighting for a bright scene. If you are new to this, you can refer to our foundation level tutorial, where we have discussed all about HDRI lighting in details, the link is given below. So, this looks good, but you can see that it is completely flat. It does not have any bump, or the rocky structure, as we expect in a hilly terrain, and as we saw in the demo. Now we are coming to the core part of this tutorial, we'll learn how to change this, by using the Displace Modifier. So go to the Modifiers tab, and add one, Displace Modifier. We need a texture here, as an input to this modifier, and this is where we need to use our displacement map. Since we don't have any existing map, create a new one by clicking this. The settings for this new texture will be available, down below, in this texture tab. So here we have the texture to be used for the displacement. Or, you can even create a new texture here, it is the same thing, whatever texture you add here, will be available for the displacement modifier over here. So go back to the texture tab. We have to ensure that this type field is set to image type. Then come down below and click on open. We have to now select our displacement map, and open it. A displacement map, or a height map, is a black and white image file that tells our software how to create elevations for each point of our mesh surface. You need to get the displacement map for the texture that you are using, some download links are given below. Once the displacement map is applied, you'll get these rocky forms on your terrain. This is exactly how you can create an uneven surface, according to the height map. But the effect is too much, we need to reduce its impact, so go back to the displace modifier. If you now increase or decrease the strength factor, the impact will change accordingly, and we can get a far better result. Let us go with this, which looks great. Now press 1 to go to the front view mode. Here, if you change this mid-level, you'll see that the whole thing is moving up and down. This value actually divides the displacement texture into hills and craters. We can leave it like this, usually you don't need to change the mid-level, unless you have multiple such layers together. So our terrain is somewhat ready, now the next step. We can make it far better, because right now if you look closely, you'll see that there are many such sharp edges at these tops. It does not look good, so we need to apply some smoothing technique on the entire landscape, so that the curves get softer, and we get a more realistic output. Let us first minimize this. We'll then add a smooth function from here. Either of them will work, let us take smooth corrective. 
it will immediately get some change, and the sharpness of the rocks will vanish. This looks more realistic. Or, we can also use the simple smooth modifier. You can change this factor value, and control the smoothness of the rocks. A higher value in this field means, greater smoothness of the landscape. But don't go beyond 2 because the smoothness will otherwise again decrease. So let us keep this factor just as 2. It will add some smoothness, but that's not sufficient because we still have these sharp edges in many places. So you have to increase this repeat value up to 3 or 4, and you'll get a very smooth output that looks quite realistic. So this way, you can create any landscape for your game or your movie. You can also download an actual satellite image of any place from Google Earth along with its height map, and easily create a realistic model of that place. Or, for a rough purpose, you can use any available displacement map or height map for a similar landscape. Even if the height map and the texture are slightly mismatched, it will still be okay for a game background. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.